Hey guys, here's um, one of the videos that I'm gonna be sharing with you this week. This video is going to be just for our discussion post, um, just to kind of help you guys out for a little bit of review time. If you can see it at the top, I'm sorry about the glare, okay? Um, for this discussion post, I wanna talk about qualitative and quantitative observations. This is something that we talked about probably all the way back in September and October. We did a lot of work with this and kind of differentiating between the two types of observations. So if you can see, and you can pause your screen if you need to, okay, there are two types of observations. We have qualitative, which I underlined qual for quality, okay, meaning characteristics. You're describing something's characteristics, okay? So qualitative observations have characteristics that involve a description of something, okay? So I'm gonna lean this back up real carefully, okay? Sorry about the glare. All right, so my example was the teacher has blonde hair, okay? So if you've already figured out what the quality is, that's awesome, you, you're pretty set on the review, okay? So the quality in this, the teacher has blonde hair. Well, what's the characteristic? What am I describing about the teacher, okay? Her blonde hair, okay? So that would be the quality, okay? This is the characteristic here. So if you can't find a characteristics, it's probably not a qualitative observation, okay? So you have to be really specific in the descriptions that you guys are gonna give. I'm gonna have you guys do a couple on your own for this week's discussion post, okay? And then quantitative, I feel like everybody had a pretty easy time with this. Quantitative, and I underlined quantity, okay, has numbers, all right? So yes, I used a little hashtag, but that's my shorthand for numbers, okay? So it has to have some type of number, all right? Either in written form, Okay, so I, I'm gonna cheat on this one. Okay, four, I wrote out, I own four dogs, which I don't, or you'd hear them all, but four would be that quantity, okay? That number that goes with what I'm describing. Okay, so you can see four dogs, okay? So I want you guys to think about the difference between the two, all right? So blonde is a description that would be qualitative, and then four would be a quantity, which means it's a quantitative observation. Now, a couple things that I didn't write on the whiteboard yet that I kind of want to talk about are how we can tell um, whether or not something is an observation at all, okay? So you can't say, you know, there, there's something that you can't see. You have to make that observation. And how we make those observations are with our five senses, okay? So if you cannot hear it, okay, so I'm going to write down the five senses, okay? If you can't hear it, Okay, if you can't see it, now again, in science we don't typically do this, but if you can't taste it, okay, number four, if you can't feel it, a lot of times we, we kind of use our text, texture senses, okay, and we feel different things, okay, if you can't feel it, and then the biggest thing Okay, I definitely think or feel, but if you if you can't describe these, okay, so we have hear, see, taste, feel. I'm missing one. Hmm. What am I missing? I wonder if you guys have figured it out by now. If you can figure it out, I'll give you a minute if you know. Okay. A lot of times, even in science, we, we can make this observation, but we don't often use it too, too much, okay? And the last one is smell. Sometimes we get um, a lot of scientific evidence based on what we can smell and taste, and we kind of use those hand in hand, okay? So for your discussion post this week, I'm going to ask you guys to do two examples for each, okay, for each type of observation. So you're going to make two qualitative observations and two quantitative observations. Now, you can say something in your house. You can make one up. You can think back to our classroom and some of my examples. I'm going to ask that you don't use either of these two, obviously, just because I've already given them. But, you know, another example, Ms. Esta has three markers, okay? And that would be a quantitative observation. Now, if I said I had three markers that were red, black, and orange, then you could actually say that they're both, okay? So if you wanna give examples that are both, you can get a little bit of, of creativity in your post and that's totally fine too, okay? So for full points, you need two 
qualitative observations and two quantitative observations. Okay, so four examples total, okay, for this week's discussion post for you to get all of your credit, all right? And you can feel free to comment on other people's if you think that they're really good um, observation or maybe you can say, well, that, that observation was similar to what I had or it helped me out, okay, to kind of, you know, see another example first, okay? So I'm going to sign off, but I hope this helps you guys with your discussion post this week just for a little bit of review, okay? See you guys.